Am I recording? Yeah. All right. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, we're going to compare... Take three. Dude, why am I being so bad at this? Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, we're going to be comparing two SSDs, the Samsung 850 EVO and the Samsung 840 EVO. Now, I know that the 850 EVO is newer and cheaper, but this video is intended to see whether it's upgrade to the 850 from the 840. So, let's get into it. Now, instead of saving the best part for last, I'm going to show you the benchmark results first because let's face it, this is probably why you're watching this video. The benchmarking tool that I used is Crystal Disk Mark. I've been testing hard drives with this tool for a while now, and I like the accuracy and the clean look of it. Instead of putting these hard drives in a fancy test bench, I simply put them in my personal rigs at home so that the results are what you should expect. Both of these SSDs are 256 gigabyte. Here are the results. As you can see from these results, the SSDs are very similar. The older 840 EVO actually beat the newer 850 EVO in sequential read and write speeds, but the 850 EVO looks like it can read and write with 4K files a little bit faster. But these minuscule differences in the results isn't what this video is about. The only thing that these results do show is that upgrading to the 850 EVO from the 840 isn't necessary. I was in the same boat a couple months ago when I thought I had to have the latest and greatest with the 850 EVO, but in reality, my 840 EVO is running perfectly fine and it's still really fast. Now there are some technology differences in upgrades in the 850 compared to the 840 that you might be interested in. The new 850 EVO is sporting the new 3D V NAND technology, which in simple terms is a way that manufacturers can create even smaller chips but with the ability to have more capacity, speed, and durability and power efficiency. You can find more information about this in the description box below this video. One other difference that I thought is interesting is the 850 EVO has a 5 year limited warranty and the 840 EVO only has a 3 year limited warranty. I would assume that this is because of the new 3D VNAND technology, but Samsung may just have more confidence in their drives now. Well that pretty much wraps up my comparison video of the 850 EVO and the 840 EVO. Like I said before, if you're in the market for buying a new SSD right now, I would definitely go with the 850 EVO because it's newer and it's cheaper. On the other hand, if you're sitting on an 840 EVO and you're thinking about upgrading, I personally wouldn't because the upgrade is minimal. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this one, please drop a like on this video to help support my channel and as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.